what that. So, uh, Frederick Gatz, uh, as, as it was mentioned, I'm responsible for the strategy of open source and interop in France. So, uh, I, would, I will start my, my talk by, by saying, uh, that what, what, are, what are you doing here, at Microsoft? I, I, I sometimes have the question. Uh, and, and if I was uh, to put a few words and, and a few words to be taken out of this meeting, uh, it is, uh, um, it's, for, it's for four points. Uh, the, fir the first one is one fundamental, uh, and the three other points are our key engagements that we are taking, uh, uh, which are customers, collaboration and partnership, and I mentioned the word partnership, uh, and cloud. Back on the approach, uh, back on the approach, uh, it's been it's been a 10-year approach, and and the new things behind that, it's it became a mature strategy. So we do have a strategy behind interop and open source. Uh, it's been a 10-year 10-year one, and we are we are be becoming mature around that. And with maturity comes a little bit less of shyness, as you probably heard this morning during the discussion. Uh, we are taking a more proactive approach. Uh, we are building uh, uh, programs, engagements, and, and, and really uh, uh, being uh, deeper in, into that uh, uh, strategy. Uh, the three points, uh, customers, uh, partners, and uh, partnership, and, and cloud. Uh, talking about customers, uh, we, we do engage in, in really listening deeply uh, and proactively to customers, hearing from, uh, in the early age, interrupt strategy, uh, but also uh, more and more about the workloads that they are willing to adopt, uh, and, and in front of that, uh, taking the real, the, uh, a real pragmatic, pragmatic approach behind that, and in some cases adopt, uh, in, 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 in other cases uh, collaborate uh, and interrupt, and it could be, uh, if I take uh, a few examples and, and back to my, my really being uh, pragmatic, it could be uh, for the consumer side uh, delivering Skype on Linux because customers are, are, are willing to have that. It could be uh, implementing, and we did that three years ago in Paris, Ici Les Moulineaux, 10 minutes walk from here, uh, an interop lab uh, where, we do, uh, where we did early, in early stage uh, implement technologies in terms of showcasing interop, and more and more, and this is this is uh, a couple of weeks ago, more and more uh, engaging uh, offerings as well as services in in our customers asking, uh, what about my mixed environment? What should I do? How could I, should I proceed? What are the savings that I could that that could expect from uh, from your approach of interop and 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 open source? What I what am I what am I taking out of that? I'm building my cloud, uh, what should I do, how, how could I go? And, and this is a mixed environment once again. Collaboration, and I mentioned earlier the, the word partnership, uh, because whether it's, it, it's be with, with uh, big partners, when, when I say partners, it, it could be big, big uh, integrators, uh, whether it be, it, it be with ISVs, for example, or, or with, with communities, it's all about building a, a relationship, a collaboration, where in some cases we will help and support, uh, in other cases we will engage and, and, and co-develop, and we have the structure for that, for that. and in, in other cases, and in most of the cases, uh, see how we can do business together. Uh, and in, in those cases, it could be uh, whether it's the PHP community or the MongoDB community, we're more than happy to, to, to discuss with the OW2 community and Compatible One. Uh, we are more than happy to, to discuss with Cloud CloudWatt. It's all about uh, building the relationship or the technology uh, interaction to make sure that those mixed environments can run and run safely. And, and what, as it was told this morning, uh, uh, with the, the right interrupt choices where you can you know, pick and choose uh, the model that you want to follow up, whether it's 10% of that and 80% and of that. If you want to mix it, we need really to make sure that we deliver on that. Next and, and, and last point uh, on, the, on, that, on that major slide, uh, quite simple. Uh, it's, it's the cloud, so uh, uh, talking about the cloud, uh, it's all about uh, not only our offering, uh, Azure, as I mentioned, our public cloud offering that, that have about 30 different uh, technologies uh, that came out from the open source. The, the good example that we had this morning is the, the, the Hadoop 
with Norton Works, uh, and making sure that when we deliver on the open on the, the public cloud, we do deliver with uh, all the communities, all the the, the uh, um, ISVs, or partners that are willing to be to be uh, available on the cloud, and make sure that the, the experience is seamless. Uh, you, you did make some choice in terms of that package, that, that model of, of development, it needs to be, to be seamless and it needs to interrupt with other clouds. I need to kind of not steal your time, man. Uh, and, and, and once I've said that, uh, open source momentum, I'm not gonna, those are numbers, but, uh, but numbers are somehow important and, and they illustrate the different aspects, whether it's be on the left hand side uh, around the development, making sure that the, the, the persons, the teams, the companies that have made, have made some X uh, um, uh, model, uh, model of dev development uh, choices that they r really can land on that uh, ecosystem that represents Windows. Uh, there is, once again, there is no open source or Microsoft. There is open source and Microsoft. There is Windows, there is open source that lands on Windows and it needs to land nicely and, and, and really uh, stream, uh, um, easily. Uh, and that, that's my, my red bucket, red, red, yeah. Uh, Windows is, is really a target for the open source community. And last but not least, uh, talking about partnerships, uh, it could be private cloud as we mentioned, it could be public cloud, it could be hybrid, uh, making sure that any, anyone developing some websites, uh, whatever devel uh, development could be, uh, uh, Drupal, uh, Joomla and so forth, it could land nicely and easily with, with streamline from the development to the install, whether it's uh, on the public cloud or with some uh, private uh, hosters like, like Nedisim or LDB or Ecoli in France, for example. So once again, it's, it's, it's that momentum that we are trying to build. One of the kind of the poster child or, or the more, more advanced, I would say, uh, work that we've, we've been doing and, and, and I'm gonna kind of skip really quick through that slide, uh, it's all about Linux. It's, it's one of the example. It's probably the more, more advanced. It started a couple of years ago by, by contributing to the, to, the, to the Linux community and it, it goes up to uh, making sure that we do have some uh, seamless experience when you develop and package application on Linux or Windows, uh, making sure that in, in, in the cloud, I did mention earlier uh, OpenStack, making sure that if, if you do mix uh, environments, compatible one, OpenStack, uh, uh, make sure that, that it lands nicely, interrupt nicely. We do have our agenda, we still do have our agenda, but we do make sure that when the agenda of the customers or the partners are mixed, uh, it, is, it is easy to do. Open source, I'm gonna skip that one for you. Uh, and and, and, and it, is, it is really uh, nice when we can read through those, the, this type of, of uh, example. It's rewarding somehow because it, it gives us the, the mirror aspect of, well, we are consistent, we do have a long-term strategy on that. And when, when our partners or, or the people we talk to are, 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 are telling this or, or or Norton Watch this morning. It's really great. Uh, it's really uh, nice to hear because it, it, it's kind of a proof point of, of how serious we try to, to be. Another question I do get sometimes is: is how many guys are, are, are in Microsoft within Microsoft working on open source? And, and and I can tell you, I don't know the answer. What I can tell you is how we are organized to work with. In some cases, it's full-time job like mine, and that would be the kind of the big circle. That's I'm the local guy, uh, working in terms of of explaining but engaging as well customers, partners. But in, behind that, there are all different groups. Uh, one of each, one of the, one is Open Technologies. You might have heard of that company uh, that we, we started a year ago now, nearly. That is really dedicated to work, to working with communities, uh, and contributing to work, to, to, to that part of the job. Obviously, there is work to, uh, that is done within the product group. Windows, Office, whatever, uh, Windows Server, uh, that are absolutely embedded. It could be, it could be many people as part of, of one team. Uh, the Open Source Technology Center that is absolutely uh, uh, sustaining all those efforts. And last but not least, because we do have the, the worldwide guide here, uh, the Open Solution Group that is, uh, who is absolutely for uh, targeting uh, the, the, um, the business behind it. With that, the Open Source Group is there. Alfonso Castro.
Thanks, Fred. So yeah, let me go into the details about what the Open Solutions Group does. So as the slide shows, we are the business part of the um, of that community, not meaning that we are the only guys doing business with open source at Microsoft, but this is really our, our, our goal. I will not go very much into those details uh, because I want this to uh, remain within the time frame that has been given to us. But you can see here that we have lots of customers that are um, in touch with us and that are using or consuming open source technologies through Microsoft. A very good example is that is the one I'm going to uh, describe in a second, the relationship we have with SUSE. Uh, we have more than 1,000 customers across the globe that come to us um, for Microsoft to make proposals in supporting Linux servers. Yes, you heard well. We make the proposals and we sign the contract with customers and we take care of those Linux servers from a support point of view. We don't operate that, SUSE does that, so we act as a reseller of SUSE, but the, the connection, the, the contractor connection is made through Microsoft. So that's something which is really working very well because it uh, uh, brings a lot of cost saving to our, uh, our customers. So that alliance, and I'm sorry about the title, that, uh, so the, the important word is in the alliance is hidden here, but whatever, is really about those three pillars. Choice, because as uh, we mentioned this morning during the, the panel, the choice is absolutely critical to uh, all of our customers. Everything we've done with SUSE is based on interoperability. Um, we compete and I'm going to say that again, we compete with SUSE, which doesn't prevent us from also collaborating. So if it's, uh, when we go to a customer and the customer wants to choose between Linux and Windows, they will do the job, we will do ours, and we will definitely promote each one our technology. But that's not the kind of conversation in which we are involved. We are involved in conversations in which the customer wants to, to keep both Linux and Windows. And this is where we've been um, collaborating with them from a technical point of view, from a business point of view, I talked about the business part of it a second ago about those customers and about also the uh, collaboration in future roadmap and in joint, uh, joint developments. And of course, that brings openness to both platforms, uh, the SUSE one and also the Microsoft one. Then if you apply that to Microsoft, and talking about the cloud, because this is the, uh, the afternoon sessions, um, of obviously that will enrich very much our own um, um, private cloud story. Because based on Hyper-V, which as you all know is our uh, hypervisor, you will be able to virtualize equally both Windows and Linux uh, VMs, and then we'll be able to manage them through the combination of System Center, which is our uh, management uh, solutions, and SUSE Manager, which is SUSE's um, management solution for them to manage the Linux machines. So with that, you, we are able to provide the, the market with choice, but also with consistency, uh, because if we, we don't want to pay the price with that and um, make the customers having to, to, to choose, but also having to manage the complexity of having two different environments. So that consistency is brought to you thanks to the collaboration we have with them. And of course, we're now also extending that to the public cloud, because as you know, uh, on Windows Azure, and as Frederick was just mentioned that, you can find Linux virtual machines as well. You can find four of them. You can find SUSE and OpenSUSE, thanks to the collaboration I just mentioned. You can also find CentOS, and you can find Ubuntu. So we are the, uh, the group at Microsoft that had to work with those companies for, for making that happen. And uh, for us to promote exactly the, the picture you have in front of you, you have one management console, in that case System Center, that will be, uh, would allow you to have a comprehensive approach across all the clouds, whether they're private or public, still maintaining the choice between the Windows VMs and the Linux v VMs, so you can have the choice all the time. Here you have one summary of the collaboration we have with SUSE. I will stop here so you can read the details, and thank you. Thank you.